representing an extraordinary alignment of beautiful humans. Congratulations, Shaw area and Epic family on your 13th Inner Circle victory. Unit Club sales directors, Amy Rose, Hillary Putoff, Nadine Stanley, Nicole Pratt, Jessica Hoddle, Amber Nichols, London Arbuckle, Blythe Egbert, Top Trip Director, Tina France, Extended Trip, Cindy Machado, and First Time Million Dollar, April Hutchinson. vision from your God-given strengths. Leah Laughlin, Julia, <laughs> oh, how you must love and trust me to have gifted me with you. The rich conversation, the wisdom, the shared collaboration, daily life of leadership, some of my most meaningful experiences. You sharpen me and you make me better in the private, mundane, and on stage in the magnificent. There are no words to convey the depth of my gratitude for what we share. Diamond Seminar, what if I hadn't, what if I hadn't caught and chased down my dream? And what happens if you don't? The number one misconception of humanity is there's plenty of time. It was just yesterday at the right young age of 26. I was a DIQ, walking away from education, the only adult occupation I've known, and the unknown of commission earning and work from home discipline to grow this business. The backdrop, choosing to become a high school English teacher. It was familiar because I grew up with educator parents. Following their footsteps, I took on extracurricular and found myself working 90 hours a week for 14 cents an hour. I love my students, the school, my principal, my young, wild friendmates, and somewhat carefree lifestyle. But I was broke, and I was out of sync with my values and very depleted. I desperately needed to return to values and completely reinvent myself. I created a little bit of a mess in all of that. Anybody relate? Nothing in our lives is ever random. One of my roommates met a Mary Kay lady, warm chatty. Mary Kay Ashton challenged the entire sales force to hold a 10 party week. Long story short, three women at that party said yes to the career opportunity and I became a team member of my roommate. I didn't want to sell anything. I didn't have any selling skills. Yet after that first summer break, just selling Mary Kay, the thrill of having cash in hand, returning to my job in the fall, standing in the gymnasium of that high school, feeling a little bit torn. Like, should I leave education for Mary Kay? When I heard that whisper to my spirit, get out of here. <laughs> no, Lord, I want to teach. I came to South Florida. I, I, I want to speak. I want to write. And although not audible, clearly heard, you're going to speak, you're going to teach, and you're going to write. And I'm going to blow your mind. But you've got to get out of here. I stayed. <laughs> For one more painful year, I stayed. Actually, it was a very painful year because when in disobedience, we lose a little bit of covering. However, during the last six months of that year, January through June, uh, working 90 hours a week, I qualified for the use of my first career car and became an independent sales director, building the foundation to what I stand on today. What will your timeline be? You know, in the amazing journey of life, there is for every dream the promise, and then there is always the problem. I have a promise, but I have a problem. In every promised land experience, there is a problem. And there's that little space of decision in between vision and fulfillment. And our response determines the pace of advancement. The fastest route to your next big dream fulfillment is respect for time's fast passage. To understand the process and to apply full obedience without excuse or delay to your dream fully experienced. It just makes sense that if we're constantly being denied advancement or goal accomplishment in our lives, we have something to learn. 
And if we continually disregard the way time works and the lessons available to us at the end of our lives, we may have missed God's highest call on our lives. What's the biggest dream you have on your heart right now? If you don't know, check your distractions. Check your excuses. Check your habits. Just for a minute, while we're here, dream big. Imagination leads to intuition, and intuition opens the door to desire, and desires deepen. They have to be acted upon. You'll know a God-sized dream when you can't not fulfill it. I can assure you, every man or woman who has ever accomplished anything has had a clear definition of next. Not forever, not ultimate, not necessarily grandiose, but definitely next, a clear intention of your next. And then an elevated emotion, belief in your next is critical. If you have nothing in mind, then you get to remain the same because without vision, people perish. So if we're starting at what's my dream, let's start with who do you talk to? Who do you text? Who do you group text? Who do you work beside? Who do you live with? Who do you follow on Instagram? Because it's said that we become like the five people we hang around most. That includes who we follow, who we listen to, who we read, or what we watch. Choose friends and teammates who invite you into the fullest expression of your highest self and who inspire you to stretch and be better. Not codependent relationships who only tell you what you want to hear, who complain, who always take the road of least resistance, who let themselves off the hook, who prioritize leisure over the push, and who dim your potential and they dim your bright light. Check your input. Good life is the thief of best life. What if I had If you could write your story, and you can, how will you, this transition, how will you tell this season, this chapter, how will it read from where you are to vision fulfillment? Oh, my dear sisters, catch your dream. Yeah, but Pam, you just don't know my situation. Oh, I don't know your situation. But if you think for two seconds, yours is harder than the person next to you, I want to tell you something. That part of your brain that lights up anxiety, it can't operate when your brain operates in gratitude. It would be immature and tragic for us to assume that our difficulties are bigger than someone else's, that our family situation requires a response justifying our delay or the denial of your dream. Most of you know my story. I miscarried a pregnancy three days after sitting right here on this seminar stage throne as the number one director, a daughter. Only a few years later, my superman of a husband was diagnosed with ALS, and two years later died at age 40, leaving me a widow and single mom. Two years beyond that, later for my son to be trapped in addiction. It took us on a roller coaster for 11 years. Born in Dallas, Texas on seminar July 27th, his birth certificate reads, Thomas Shaw, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, it was like, oops. Thomas today is four years sober. He went with me. He traveled this year with my NSC sisters and families as my guest to Greece. Losing our third epic NSC, Barbara Johnson, to a sudden heart attack less than a year after she debuted as a senior national sales director. Losing my dad, my rock within 40 hours of filming my Mary Kate White story. Yet a piece of me doesn't even want to recap that because I know my difficulties don't trump yours. What I want you to know is this. Provision happens in the middle of grief, disappointment, circumstances beyond your preference. In this life, no matter what happens, we get to choose either victory or a victim version of our story. God wants to deepen your faith. He wants to strengthen your resilience. What a thrill it was for all of us to see Wyndham Clark win the U.S. Open this year. His mother, the late Lisa Clark, NSD, to hear him on national television talk about the impact of his mother's voice on his life, uh, her belief in him and the confidence journey. And he gave a shout out to the entire Mary Kay world. Those women are the most positive women on the planet. What if Lisa hadn't? Catch your dream. Your success blesses others. Goals are meant to be accomplished so you can live the rewards, not just check the box. The sooner you accomplish your goal, the longer you get to live those rewards. When your what and your why are clear and in alignment, 
How is never the question. Stop asking how. Know your why, know your what. How will disappear. The sooner you achieve your dreams, the longer you get to live them. So clarify that what and why. Over and again, I teach four simple ingredients to manifest an outcome. And they're not either or, but all four. Number one is the decision. People, make a decision. Make a decision in the environment of seminar where belief is high and then go home. You know what? If you're hit with a situation or an unforeseen circumstance, next up, the thing you'll be doing is reevaluating or negotiating the dream. And then comes procrastination. So instead of reinventing yourself and reinventing your schedule and building on steps that would take you forward to that dream, you're caught. You cannot argue for your limitations. Because when you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. So much respect for those of you who pushed through a victory on June 30th. I love being in a room full of winners, watching all of you come out on stage for your accomplishments. It's inspiring beyond words. You know, excuses line up with scarcity and fear. When we look at the abundance of our Mary Kay opportunity, we see big achievements on stage. We see dreamy Instagram moments and lifestyle and the earned travel experiences. And we tell other people what exists, but it comes down to this. You don't reap abundance practicing scarcity. In the private moments of minutia, when your yes or your no, your habit, your overcoming choice, your time investment gets played out, that will reveal whether you're on the side of growth and accomplishment or you're just a real on loop doing it all over again, ultimately remaining the same. Decision. Make a decision. Number two, discipline, everyone's favorite word. Let's see where the freedom and choice loving people are. Anybody out there freedom and choice? Yeah, me too. Well, freedom and choice is not an enemy to discipline. Being disciplined isn't always easy, but I can't afford to give up on the dreams and ideas that God has called me to pursue. There's way too much at stake. Show me your habits, they will explain you today. Show me your new habits, they will explain your new success. You'll be even more free with self-discipline because it takes discipline to acquire a new habit. And discipline will grow your confidence. Discipline is a punishment. It's an opportunity to separate yourself from average people. Motivation isn't going to cut it. Most days I'm not motivated. This is not my daily environment. <laughs> you need discipline because confidence grows from consistently sticking to commitments that you make in an environment that they become harder to keep when you go back. That requires discipline. Every single time you tell yourself you're going to do something and you don't do it, like network and meet five people a day or book 10 skincare appointments before the fifth and you don't do it, you're telling your subconscious mind that you can't be trusted and that you're not a confident person. But every single time you say you're going to do something and you stick to it, even though it's scary and even though it's painful and even though maybe it was terribly hard, but you do it anyway, you put another coin in your confidence bank and that's how you become confident over time. But you have to start. Confidence is action. It's the willingness to try. And all you need to know is that if you try on the lowest level, you're going to learn something. And when you learn something, it removes a little bit of insecurity so it becomes slightly easier to try again. And confidence grows. Discipline, decision, and confidence. Number three, grit. As a society, we better wake up. We become a little lazy, so we don't even get in the car to go through the drive-thru for fast food. We pay Uber Eats to bring us insomnia cookies at midnight. What? I mean, I'm not even gonna touch the bad choice of fast food and insomnia cookies. But if we wanna deepen our resilience quotient and strengthen our grit, which study after study after research is a proven fact, grit is foundational to success. We had better embrace the challenge, the difficulty. Grit is one quality of all successful people. And a primary observation of mine throughout the past 37 years of my Mary Kay business is that people do not go hard enough, long enough to get a result. Our feelings get hurt, or we get discouraged, or our big emotions take over, and we can't operate in the quiet when God is trying to speak to us and teach us something. The absence of grit will disqualify or delay you from your next big reward. Who wants to get a little bit grittier? So instead of book 10 just this week, how about three plus three every week? Three parties a week, three career chats a week. Instead of meeting five sharp people today that you wanna offer a skincare solution to or an opportunity that fits her life, let's just do it every week because the hashtag process of accumulation 
is your slight edge. Before acting on an emotion or a thought in any direction, ask yourself, will this support the life that I'm trying to create and the person I want to be? Catch your dream. Number four, accountability. There are no secret accomplishments. Don't tell anybody what you're doing. You're off the hook as soon as you don't feel like it, as soon as you become discouraged or frustrated. The first career car goal that I set, I was still teaching high school English and dance, and I told the drill team daddy, one of the man parents who was always out on the field every afternoon after practice, and I'd walk out of school for my teaching day, getting ready for drill team practice, and Mr. Bob would say, hey Pam, where's that car? Every day, hey Pam, where's that car? Staying in accountability, it keeps your focus sharp, and it reminds you. Recently, Million Dollar Director April Hutchinson did a Zoom call for our Diamond Seminar, 10,000 and higher unit volume sales achievers. And afterwards, she said to me on the phone, oh boy, now that I just put it out there, uh, we just got to do it. It just got more real. We have got to finish this. And April, we know you will, and we can't wait to welcome you into the epic MSD conversation. <laughs> Accountability is your friend. Check your work ethic. How many hours a week do you actually invest in growing your business? Because it's really simple. If you fudge it, you're only lying to yourself. Neither talent nor intention will book a party, invite a team member, advance your career path title. Work is required. Are you putting in the work to get a fresh result? Check your words. I am overwhelmed. I'm tired. I am so busy. I am very, very clear. What follows I am follows me. I'm ready. I'm willing. I'm a hard worker. I'm a valuable influencer for this company. I'm a magnet. I'm trustworthy. I'm consistent. I'm disciplined. I am confident. You know, I lost some time in my early 20s making poor choices, living a little bit of an untamed lifestyle. But I caught a vision for what could be through the Mary Kay career path, and I held on to it. If you're not living your dream life in every sense of the word, and you're parked on the choices of your past, the time you let get away, instead of beating yourself up or ruminating of what isn't, the way to move past regret is to move into a clear vision of your preferred future. Clear intention, elevated emotion, and believe it. Where will you be 90 days from now? Where will you be December 31st, 2023? Where will you be at seminar 2024? Get clear and crave the end result so badly that the work becomes irrelevant. You don't have to love every aspect of the work to create an end result. If you never get around to sacrificing for the thing you say you want, the thing you say you want will become the sacrifice of your life. When God gives me a vision of faith, there's no question what he'll do. Only what I'll do. Provision precedes vision. So as soon as you get a vision for your business, the provision is already there. There are no secret victories. There's first a consideration, second a verbalized desire, and then next a lifestyle that includes improved habits, family schedule, activities, new skills to support that very first thought. And if all of those aren't there, enjoy the status quo. If you want to dream big, fulfill this year, it's likely you will need to tweak a couple of habits, a few choices, a good behavior. Your choice must be deliberate. Everything in life will be held in temporary suspension until you make a decision. It's likely that if anything I've said is causing your heart to race a little bit, you've started to ask how. And there's so many little hacks in your day you, you, can, you can implement and you can begin to implement right now. Mary Kay Ash used to tell us to get up, get dressed, and get out the door. But put a skincare set by the door and take it with you. And then don't come home until you've sold it. It was great. We did that. It's still relevant advice. A strong philosophy I repeat is this. Time invested in one area is time away from another. When I say yes to one thing, I am saying no to a dozen or more others. What can only you do? What needs to be delegated to someone else? Is what you're touching creating your future or do you need to let it go? And then what do you simply need to dump? There are only two ways to make space. One is to reprioritize and take the niceties but not necessities off your plate. And the other way is to expand your belief 
And I don't mean belief without work or belief without action or belief without new habits. I mean then belief. Sorrow, it can dance with happiness. Sadness, it can dance with gratitude and joy. Letting go can dance with gripping tightly. But doubt, doubt cannot dance with belief. In her 1984 seminar speech, our founder said, start writing your own success story today. Set your goals and hang on to them until they're your reality. You've got to believe it before you'll ever see it. Because whatever the mind can perceive and believe, you can achieve. In the famous words of Epic and SD, the late Barbara Johnson, don't leave your dream in Dallas. Catch it. Chase it down. Your big dream. I pray that God showers you with his favor and his grace and his blessings and that you live the life that you can only begin to imagine and that you will start to put in motion things that you learn here, things that you see here, things that make it all the way back to your home and that you can truly ignite a fire that's already inside of you and bring it to full fruition. God bless you. God speak. Keep your light shining brightly. Let's hear it again for your number two national sales director, executive national sales director, Pamela Waldrop Shaw.